Hey everybody, it's Scott Dotweiler here, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of a mid-journey today. I've been doing a few streams on these uh, AI-driven art tools for a while now, and I really have gotten a lot of, uh, let me say, good skills behind the mid-journey thing. I wanted to share with you, I've learned a lot, uh, made some great art, and made some train wrecks as well. Uh, so I thought I would uh, share some of this today, and uh, kind of explore a concept together and kind of show you what I've learned uh, as I go. So I am talking to the Midjourney bot directly uh, instead of being in one of the test channels, uh, which is where it normally drops you when you join the Midjourney Discord. Uh, for those of you who do not know, Midjourney is only available as a Discord server front end. Uh, so you have to use Discord, um, which I use anyway, uh, because it's how I communicate with my, my gamer friends. That's also how uh, we do what's called a Club 79, which is where you critique the judges that are critiquing your images during image competitions. Uh, so we use our Discord server a lot, but I'm talking to the, the bot directly because otherwise it's just a frenzy of images that are flying by and oftentimes you can't see your own stuff. So this is a lot easier, a lot quieter. We're just going to talk to the bot directly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use kind of an example here and, and kind of show you how to approach looking for the image, uh, building an image, and and then give you a ton of really great resources that has helped me a lot. So this is going to be a little bit longer uh, live stream, but I thought I was going to make a video out of this and just upload it. And I thought, you know, what? I think it'd be more interesting as a live stream. That way, if you have questions or comments, feel free to type them in uh, below and um, I'll go ahead and field them as we go. Uh, so to start out with, I've just started here with a very simple prompt, Secret Underground Lab. <clears throat> and you can see that it has given us, uh, I've gotten uh, four squares of, uh, or I should three sets of four squares. So if we view these um, full size, in the browser, you kind of get an idea. Each one is unique. Um, it's going to give you four different options. So when you click on one of these things, you'll get a four. Uh, the buttons down below, I explain here. If you're new to Midjourney, you won't be by the time I'm done. Uh, but if you're already new to it, we're going to kind of fly through some of this stuff because, I, again, I want to want I want to work more on the perfection of the images instead of just kind of the starting out thing. Because it's not that hard to figure out. Uh, mastering it though is, is work. Uh, so you can see I have uh, three different options here. So um, just kind of looking for a mad lab. I really kind of like this one here is really neat. And I think I like this one here. And then uh, down below, we've got these. <clears throat> so what you do is once you've kind of given it a prompt, then you can ask this is image one, two, three, and four. So that's how they're, in, how they're numbered. And you can ask for variations on a specific one. This is called rolling. <laughs> so if you're rolling dice, and then you have version rolling, and then you have you rolling. Uh, so that's kind of the, the way to look at this. Uh, so you can ask for variations on this seed, this specific seed. So seeds are the random numbers that are used to generate the kind of the noise that's used to drive the AI. And if we find a seed we like, we can ask it to explore things that are close to that, which is the whole idea behind the versioning. So for example, I said I liked this one here. Uh, so in the simplest sense, I can just hit V2. I'm going to switch this to fast. Um, I was using a relaxed mode. Uh, so like you pay for this monthly, then uh, you get the option to use relax mode, which means that you can do a lot more images and you don't have to worry about um, exceeding the number of, of images that you have, uh, I don't say, paid for. Uh, so by, by doing this, then I get a lot more. Um, obviously, this one I have to wait for because I didn't think about that first. So let's talk about prompts because prompts are really how this whole thing is driven. So I've given it a very vague thing, secret underground lab. And that's kind of, I mean, that's how you can do this. Keep in mind that this tool is never going to give you the image you think you want, okay? What you have in your mind is going to be very difficult for you to get that image. So don't put that as your goal. Your goal should be to find new art or new inspiration through using the tool, not to get caught up on, I want it to make the image I have in my head, because that's, that's not going to happen. And being open-minded to what is going to be generated by this is really, really my goal. Uh, I want to use these as points of departure. So the way to think about this, a lot of people get all cranked up about, well, art is dead because this is, you know, this thing's just going to make art. Look at it as this is, oh, it's starting to hail outside. Look at it as this is the um, rough sketch part of the art creation process where you sit down and you kind of just sketch some stuff on paper to see what you're going to get. And you're not done there, but this is kind of eliminating that step. So don't think of that as, hey, I'm generating this. And when I'm done, it's going to be a complete piece of art. And now I'm finished. 
um, because you didn't really create this. Um, it was created for you by your inspiration or your prompting. So in this case, uh, again, I kind of like these two. Um, I'm kind of going with those two. So we can ask for versions of these. So we can say we ask for versions of two and versions of four. Now, upsizing is when it's going to and it kind of adds start adding detail and when you're adding detail to it um, it's going to start to get a lot more uh, interesting and the the system is very painterly by default okay so if you're looking for something that isn't painterly you have to be specific about that so let's take this prompt here well, we'll look at these real quick and then we'll take a prompt and we'll improve upon this because again by the time we're done with the stream today you should be a lot more adept at using this tool uh, so if we look here do I like any of these? Eh, they're okay. Nothing's really kind of ooing and eyeing me here. How about this? Um, yeah, I don't know. They're okay, but they're they're kind of painterly, and that's not really what I'm looking for. Uh, so let's start again. So to start, you put slash, and you say imagine, and then we have secret underground lab. And I just copy and paste this because as this gets longer, um, it's going to get to be painful to retype it. Uh, so I just turn it in here. Okay. So now we want to tell it. Um, we want to be more descriptive about what it is that we're after. So is there a specific, um, we're going to call it, um, way that you want this rendered or, or style that you'd like this rendered in? And there's a lot of things you can use here. Like you could use um, x-rays, you could use that you want it um, lit by a specific rendering engine. For example, Unreal Engine would be a really good example here. Uh, so we can use a comma. Now, commas are for your use and it kind of uses the comma but it doesn't really use the comma it's one of those like maybe it uses it maybe it doesn't use it uh, so we want our unreal engine that will force it to look like something that was rendered by unreal engine it is not using unreal engine to do this okay uh, now other there are other there's a lot of other options here that you could pick um, but we don't want to um I don't, we, we don't we don't want to make it painterly in this case, I want something that looks more real. So Unreal Engine is a really good option. Now I could put photograph. Uh, it's gonna try and render it as a photograph. There's, I mean, really a whole lot of different things you could put here and, and the sky's the limit because it's going to try and use those different things. Okay, so let me let me continue to improve upon this. We've got a secret under, underground lab. I do like the idea of like a tank in the middle of it. Uh, so let's put a uh, tank uh, of, um, uh, what's that, green slime. Uh, green water um, in the middle. So we have a tank of green water in the middle. Now, what I can do is I can tell it that this is a very important part of this. Uh, so for example, the fact this is a secret under underground lab, I could put two colons and I can put a weight. Now everything starts at a weight of about 0.5. So I wanna say this is going to be more important. So I'm gonna put a weight of one. There's no space between the two colons and the one. So it knows that the secret underground lab is is a very high priority thing. Uh, uh, tank of green water in the middle. I really want this to happen. So we'll put that as oops, that nice. Colon colon two. So that is very important as well. Um, and then I want to adjust the aspect ratio because the square isn't turning me on here. So uh, you put two hyphens and there's a bunch of commands that have hyphens after them. Uh, and one of my ones I use a lot is wallpaper. Now wallpaper is the same as asking for a specific aspect ratio. So AR's aspect ratio. And let's say, for example, we want it uh, um, nine by 16, for example, um, or <laughs> you, can, you can do whatever you wanna do here. Uh, two by three would be the same as a, a regular camera uh, or three by two um, would be the same as a landscape camera. Uh, so something like this. Now, also, if you want to use the new algorithm, there's always improving the algorithms. You have to put test afterwards. Otherwise, it's going to use the current algorithm. So you have some ways to kind of manipulate this. So let's let's push enter on that and see what kind of things happen. So by the way, we want to put these these hyphen commands at the end, right? But we can put the colons and the colon related things anywhere we want. Now, the this is where I don't know what we're going to get here because you'll never know. Again, open mind. Don't go, I this is specifically what I want and I don't want anything else. This is, this is the only thing I'm looking for. Well, then just draw that thing, right? That you don't even need. Um, you don't need this system to do that. If you know specifically what you want, just get out your paintbrushes and go, go make the damn thing. Uh, <laughs> so just start from there. Uh, so we're just going to kind of see what we get. And um, it looks like we've created a very blah looking scene here. 
my mandate for the tank of green water in the middle is obviously taking the uh, heavy toll on this image uh, because it is dominating um, the whole green thing. So we need to change this a bit. Um, and the fact that it's a secret underground lab is secondary. So while this is still rendering, because I know I'm not going to like it, I'm not even going to wait for it to finish. I'm just going to go ahead and, um, oops, and start on this new one. So we don't want this. Let's take this out. And we'll leave the secret underground lab. That's the most important thing. I'm going to tinker green one in the middle. And then I can also be specific about, um, or I should say, these again, these are tips to kind of help you figure out what you want to do. What style would you want this you want this done in? So we have Unreal Engine. Uh, we can we can also pick different artists. Like if we wanted to pick an artist, and I'm just looking through like a list of artists that I have here um, that I've I don't know, I've used in the past for things, and I've been really happy with it. It's a gigantic list, so I'm not going to quite share it because it's too big. But um, I'm going to use this one here. So, all right, so style of and uh, Alexi Brightcloud. So there is a, a big list of artists, and uh, if I can find a public version of that, I will put it in the comments below. So obviously I don't have it right now, uh, but by the time this you know hits hits out the the internets, then uh, maybe I'll have it on there. All right. So secret under, underground lab, Unreal Engine, take green one in the middle, and we can be the more descriptive we can be here, the better. <clears throat> so we have a tank of green water in the middle. If um, we want to see a full body, for example, I noticed that a lot of people get the heads chopped off or it's just a waist up or portrait. The secret to that is to give it more information about the position of the person. Like, for example, are they standing somewhere? So if you say standing or wearing shoes, for example, that knows that the feet have to be in the shot. So instead of saying things like full body, which may or may not work, you can add in things about where they're standing or what they're doing. So we can add things about the ceiling. Um, let's go back here. Uh, lots of uh, uh, so tank of glass. Let's do glass tank. Round glass tank. of oh, Round glass tank of green water in the middle of the scene. And uh, wires hanging on the ceiling. So something like this, uh, maybe we don't put the artist in here yet. Maybe we kind of work on this roughly. Uh, I like the idea of this being Unreal Engine 2. Now we can use other ones. Uh, there are a lot of, of really great options here, but <clears throat> I think I'm gonna stay with this one right now because that's as close to photographic as I really kind of want it. Um, and let's see what we get. So the way I approach images is I come up with my rough kind of what I want, and then I continue to add in more information and more information like the style i want it rendered as so unreal engine in this case um, but you could do oil on canvas you could do watercolor you could do a, a lot of different things along that lines and then i want to give it more information about the scene things that are important and it's going to try and negotiate with itself as to what's important like a lot of people for example notice that their their people may not have arms because i'm describing the person but i didn't describe i didn't say they had arms <laughs> at some point you reach this, well, I'm being overly descriptive and I've got to come up with a way to kind of train this. And that's where the luck of the draw thing kind of comes in, where we have to expect, we have to expect, we're going to roll the dice repeatedly on this. We're not just going to get what we want on our first guess. So don't beat yourself up if you don't get it on the first guess, because you're not going to get it on the first guess. I mean, that's, that's just a wild shot in the dark. So let's take a look at this. Um, I don't care for any of these. Let's take a look at these. Like this one is pretty promising here. Um, and I like this first one as well. Uh, both of those are really interesting. Um, like I like got, uh, got pretty good results, right? This one's boring. This one's fine. Um, let's, let's play with this one. I kind of want to see where it's going to go with this. So what I can do is we can roll versions on this. By the way, re-roll here will give you four more. Um, so let's just do that too because I want to see what it comes up with. But while we're doing that, let's version the fourth one as well. This is another reason why I'm paying um, what I'm paying for this each month, because I might have a whole bunch of jobs running and I can just walk away, come back and take a look at what's going on. This is something that's running in the background and Discord will notify you when you've got things coming up. So to me, this is like a really great, great way to look at that. All right, so we'll just let this go here. 
Okay, so here's those four versions. Let's open this in a browser. And um, uh, they're okay. Nothing's kind of blowing my mind. They're they're all right. Let's see what uh, what the next one is here. These are almost done. <clears throat> this has got a tank hole. It looks like a cylinder of water, which is the one thing I was looking for. Uh, why I didn't have it to begin with, who knows? But again, you're you're rolling the dice. Another thing that I tend to find works really well for this is being a re redundant um, with what we're saying. So let's open this again. And yeah, that's a craptacular scene. I kind of like this one actually. As 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 bleak as it kind of looks, I kind of like this. So let's take this one and let's upscale number two. So we're going to upscale that one. Now while that's working, let's go ahead and take this prompt again. I wish there was a way to just kind of use the same prompt. <clears throat> By the way, if you have something and you say, wow, I really want to improve upon this, is there a way to take an image and start over again? Uh, you cannot do that at this time. Um, who knows if there'll ever be a thing to do that. So we've got Unreal Engine. Let's use, um, I was going to say if we, we could change this. Um, we can use, uh, we can say V-Ray, for example, as another renderer. There's Nuke, there's V-Ray, there's a whole, geez, a whole bunch of them. Um, it's really, I don't know. Again, what what it's going to decide is the the look and feel of that specific type of engine um, and kind of going from there. I, I don't know that we um, that we can I don't know, guess what it's going to make based on those things, but we know that some of them look more computery than others. Like V-Ray, for example, is going to look much better than, say, oil on canvas to this theme. But oil on canvas might work better for you. Um, we can also use uh, other light information too. We can tell it specifically how we like it lit. We can ask for uh, specific types of resolution. Now, again, the images that it's going to create are not necessarily going to going to be any bigger. Like this thing only creates 1500 pixels on the long edge for anything you ask for. Even if you ask for 4K or 8K, what that's going to do more than anything is going to affect your depth of field. So if you're asking for something that's going to be an 8K render for example it's going to have a really shallow depth of field meaning a lot of the pictures going to be foggy or blurry uh, full of bokeh uh, you may or may not want that so you're going to have to be a little more careful uh, when you're giving it information about that because you're going to end up with something that may not be what you want um, let's um let's take this and i want to add uh i want to add a type of light so the type of like god rays that you see in in pictures uh, those are called crispecular. Uh, I'm going to spell this wrong. Crispecular? No, I'm missing C R E P U S C U L E R, right? Crispecular rays. That should give us some more interesting lighting. We could say uh, chromatic lighting. I also like things like uh, epic scene. Uh, so it knows it's a much more interesting, uh, much more involved scene than just something blah. Um, I can be, again, more, um, put more weight behind things. For example, this round glass tank of green water in the middle of the scene. We could say, um, tank of water, of, uh, of water, um, or we could say circular, I'm trying to think of other things that we can add. We want to be redundant, if possible. Uh, lots of wires. So we already said there were wires from the ceiling. And now we can say lots of wires. So it knows that wires is going to be one of those things we have a lot of. Sentence structure and grammar are something it's still trying to grasp. So in a lot of situations, you may or may not get a really good use of English out of these things. So I tend to use the comma-separated method, uh, which seems to work good. Um, so let's take a look at that. That's um, interesting. It gets a lot noisy. It gets pretty noisy. So when it's noisy like that, it's adding a lot of the detail. You can use what's called a light upscale redo. And what that's going to do is kind of do the same thing, but it's not going to add as much detail as it upscales at this time. Uh, because a lot of times when it does that, it starts to look more like AI art, uh, which we may be wanting to avoid. Um, so let's just go ahead and fire this one off. 
uh, while we're waiting. <clears throat> and we'll see what this thing's gonna look like. So again, you just wait for it. Um, you can go do something else, and when it comes back, uh, you can also put a stop command in here to say you want to stop it at say 80% or 70%. Again, if you're using it as more of a sketching of idea uh, ideation, uh, then putting a stop in there is a pretty good idea. Then that way, it's not overly, uh, I'll call it overly um, um, detailed and looks kind of crappy. Like you may or may not want that. Uh, that's it's <laughs> really up to you. I'm just waiting for this to render here. And um, I may change this. Let's let's try just a little bit different type of rendering engine here. Let's use Octane, which you saw me use before. Now again, it's not that Octane Engine is going to be doing the work. Uh, it's that Octane has a certain look. Um, and we can actually add no commands to these things as well. For example, we can use a comma, no DOF, no depth of field uh, is another one that's kind of handy. So it's going to uh, avoid octane renders almost always have a whole lot of, of depth of field. In fact, let's put it, let's leave it on here so you can kind of see what it looks like. And again, it's a style. It's not that you're using octane to do it, um, but it's going to give us a specific look to things. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's take a look at this. So you can see it didn't add all that grungy, painterly kind of look to it, and it's still pretty decent. Like, I, I think that's uh, that's nice. Um, not what I'm looking for at all, but uh, again, what am I looking for? I'm, I'm trying to let this thing give me ideas. So let's see what this one's going to look like. This will be a lot more computer art looking um, by definition. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Mm, eh. This one's, uh, this is kind of interesting. I like this walkway in through here. So let's do variations of this one, variations of two. I'll wait for this one to finish. And, uh, yeah. And when you get something you like, then just click on it and then do show original. It's gonna open it in a browser like this. And then you just take and save image as, and then throw that into a directory somewhere. Uh, what I'm gonna start doing, by the way, uh, because I'm doing so much more of this as kind of like points of departure, is that if you are a supporter of the channel um, for any amount, even if it's like the dollar one, um, I'm going to post my images as well as all the prompts I used to, to get those images. So if you're interested in seeing what prompting I'm doing and the, the images I'm getting, uh, if you're a supporter of the channel at any level, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, make that available to you as I'm doing them. So uh, every day when I'm kind of working on some new ideas, I'm going to put the prompts and the images in the comments on, or not in the comments, on the uh, the community area on YouTube, um, but it'll be for members only. So if you're wanting to help to channel out, then I will help you get some of the images that, that I'm getting. And that is a lot more promising, isn't it? I kind of like this look. Uh, a lot better than the other one. So this is very nice here. So version three, let's run that one. Okay, so let's take this now. But it is starting to rain. Let me close the window. Sorry about that. There wasn't supposed to be any rain today that I was aware of. So let's take this prompt here. And let's add, so this is the V-Ray one. Let's add, um, again, I'm just gonna borrow from text above because it's a lot easier than trying to go ahead and type everything again. We're gonna do an Octane render and we're gonna add no DOF. You can add more, no, you, I really only have one no command unless you have specifically ask for something with a heavier weight over here. Uh, in fact, let's try and remove this weight from that. And let's do round glass tank of green water um, like this. And I'm gonna remove this mandate for being in the middle of the scene like this. So we'll roll that. Okay, what do we got here? It's, um, Interesting. Um, this is a very small vat of green water. I was thinking like a giant one. Eh. Eh. 
So I'm getting bored with this concept already. Like I'm not getting what I want and I need to really mix it up, which is why dropping like the some of these words. So put it in the middle of the scene, get rid of that. D dropping terms off and loosening up your requirements allows the engine to be a lot more creative in what it's trying to do. Like I can already tell a couple of these are um, like this one here is similar to the other ones, but we've got some really into these uh, crispicular rays too are adding a lot of drama to to the scene. Uh, that spotlight kind of thing. There's other ways to do this as well. Uh, instead of using this crispicular rays, we could ask for volumetric. So volumetric means that it's going to have kind of a foggy feel to it. And uh, that foggy feel will uh, also add, again, kind of an atmospheric look. So what do we got here? Um, well, this is really interesting. Eh, they're okay. So let's mix it up one more time here. And we can add people to this. Uh, I'm trying not to add people to it. Uh, people, uh, if you have played with this, are very difficult to get correct. And I think fighting with that um, is, is one of the, again, the eye-opening things of this, of AI art. Some other systems like Dolly, for example, are way better at faces and than this system. And hopefully we'll be doing videos on Dolly as well. Um, and there's other ones like Crayon, uh, which is another AI uh, art tool, uh, but not one that I don't know. I don't know if we're going to go into that one or not, because this one does so much for me. Like, I'm really happy with how this works. Um, so this whole lots of wires thing didn't work out well. So let's let's add a two to that, like a lot more wires, damn it. Uh, so it's it's going to evaluate each of these things as it's working. Lots of wires and a round tank of green water. It's going to keep going and making sure that we get that. Let's remove this crispicular rays here and add volumetric uh, just to kind of mix it up again. So secret underground lab. Uh, do we care if it's if it's uh, underground? No, but I think um, let's try this and just see how it works. Again, it's uh, it's one of those little goofy things. Let's see how that goes. By the way, if you use uh, a term that is banned, there are certain works, for example, blood, um, certain things like that are not permitted. Nudity, um, it's gonna get generated, but it's so random. It's like something, it's like trying to add nipples to random things, which is somewhat hilarious. Uh, different, <laughs> different things along that lines. It likes to add more than one face to faces, and you can say one face. I actually probably do a video just on how to generate faces because I've had a lot of good luck with it, but Again, my goal is to use this as a point of departure for other work. So I will be having a video on uh, some pieces that I have made. In fact, can I even bring that up? Let me bring up one of the ones I worked on um, here. So this is one I have done. And again, it's using bits and pieces of a few different images and then my own photography. And then I, again, I dragged it into uh, Coral Painter and painted a bunch of it. So it was a point of departure. Uh, the original image didn't look like this at all, but uh, it's because this is fully detailed. I mean, this is this is uh, obviously mine, so not something that was all AI generated. So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of videos on that kind of thing if you guys are interested in that. All right, so let's take a look at this one. I already looked at that one. Let's look at this one. Hmm. Click one more time bigger kind of like this burst of orange over here but again i'm looking for um yeah i'm not i'm not getting what i want because i want that tank of water in the middle of the scene that's like a big thing for me so i need to go back and again reevaluate this now i'm fighting the engine trying to get something specific and again that's one of the things i mentioned beginning don't do that um, I have enough brainstorming stuff in here for me to create what I want. Like there's a few pieces like this one, for example, has this area here that could be a tank of water. So let's up, let's run versions of that one. Um, are there other ones that I liked? I did like this one, um, but we already ran the max scale on that one. This one has promise because it's got the tank of water, but it's a pretty bleak scene. So let's run versions of this one as well. So I find myself going back and looking through images I'd already generated to see if there were some ideas up there that maybe I should have explored more because the new ones just didn't turn out as, as well. And uh, we just kind of let it roll what it's doing. And there's a lot of commands you can send to this thing as well during this process. You can see a step-by-step -step 
You can ask for uh, upgrades or changes to things along that lines too as it's going. Uh, but uh, those are kind of beyond the scope of what I wanted to talk about today because there's a whole lot of goofiness in there that, uh, that you can explore. But um, I don't know if that's important or not important to you. Uh, let me know in the comments. It's been just me chatting and uh, Damage Incorporated. Huh? Oh, there we go. Jeez, I mentioned that just the right time. So Fen says, yeah, I can be picky with banned words. I ask for a bunch of stuff like geometric sections only to be told C-sections is banned. <laughs> C-sections, that's pretty funny. The, the weirdest one I've ever typed in and it gives lots of answers that are just wrong is out of context. So using the term out of context, uh, I don't even know if that's still available, but it gave me all kinds of just totally bizarre images. And uh, yeah, they were quite questionable. Um, so yeah, this is, it's just not, just not going where I, the direction I wanted to go. What about this one? Okay, this is actually kind of interesting, isn't it? Uh, I still would love a lot more detail in the room, but if I were to use this and again, combine it with other images that I have, then I'm going to be pretty happy. So again, I'm looking for that featured thing. I like the, the pipe here. Like this has got kind of a little bit too much ornate and this, uh, but this engineering around here. And that's, I think, the secret to this entire system is to let you roll with ideas and then continue to drill down until you get where you want to go. Uh, Corporal Davis says, I've actually been using it for the last couple of days. Really impressed with it. It is really, I think, mind-blowingly cool. Um, I'm so excited to, for where this is going. I know a lot of people are getting upset. They're like, oh my God, art is dead. Art is not dead. Again, use this as the point of departure. Uh, and not, I've seen, I've seen people post these on Twitter, like, I'm such a great artist. Here's my picture. And I'm like, uh, you just, you just took what it kicked out and put it on, on some sort of a crypto thing to try and make money. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, and more power to you. I guess if somebody's going to buy that, but why? Oh, damn. Well, so we'll let this go here and then, um. Uh, C sections like that is probably going to remove soon. We've been having discussions about it internally, and the specific specific answer came up. That's from Ancient Cast. Uh, yeah, that's that's a really interesting one. I never would have thought of that, but I guess it does open the door to a lot of other uh, directions. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Like this is the the neatness. Plus, I like this additional detail here. So again, continuing to drill down or up. I'm going to upscale this one here just to kind of see what it looks like. And then we can run more variations on it as well. But the seed is the same. If you want the seed for one, uh, you can send it uh, an envelope. Um, you can add an envelope reaction to this and it will send you the prompt that it was used as well as the seed, which is handy if you want to start, start from a specific area and continue forward. Uh, but again, I'm kind of like, let it roll and see what happens. <laughs> Art is not dead. Uh, yeah, you're, yeah, Corporal Davis is in R is not dead. Yeah, use it with traditional stuff. I can see this uh, opening the doors to uh, people with creative blocks. Like, oh, I don't want to want to paint today. What am I going to photograph? This is a really great place to start and then kind of see where it goes. Um, I'm really excited for this. Really excited for it. Um, and I don't mind the Discord front end either. I know a couple people complained like, well, I don't get Discord. Like, oh, it's fine. You know, it's it it's a modern tool. And a lot of people who aren't gamers aren't used to Discord, uh, but it's used by a lot of younger people and the whole gaming community have wrapped themselves around it. And it's a great tool. Um, I love it. We use it a lot on this channel, actually. So if we're doing portrait retouching or things along that lines, I oftentimes will stream into Discord and not onto YouTube uh, because I'm a body painter as well. And I don't want to have to worry about boobies on, on YouTube. Um, I can just do them directly into Discord, for example. But um, I'm, I have, uh, the reason I'm doing this, by the way, why am I, why am I looking for this lab thing? I have a photo I took, I made a, um, a Mark V diver's helmet, which is one of those big brass things out of EVA foam. Uh, I did this really early on in COVID and I've always wanted to make something like that and I never had. Uh, so it was a good chance for me to do it. And it turned out really nice and it looks like it's solid brass. So I did a maternity shoot because that's me with the helmet. And I want to put her in this tank. Like I'm going to put her in one of these tanks of water and put her in the middle of the scene. So I got this totally bizarre idea in my head of what I want to do. But th what's the lab look like? For the longest time, I have sketched out stuff. I'm like, oh, I just don't like the composition. I don't like any of this kind of thing that's going on. I'm not happy with it. This has given me just today, because I'd never done this one before, 
it has given me so many great ideas on what I want to do for the lab. Yeah, this one's a bit crispy, but again, let's make variations of this and see where it goes. Um, yeah, so so if you're looking for uh, weird ones, the out of context term has not been banned that I'm aware of. And again, uh, what's it yield? Who knows? But it's it's totally weird. It's uh it's a colorful one, for example. But again, what I'm going to do is as I'm getting some of these done, and I've made some really nice uh, pieces uh, that I'm going to share later. I'm going to put, again, the prompts and the pictures into the community section of the YouTube channel there. So if you're a supporter of this channel, even for the dollar, um, I will make sure that you get some good results and you can see what it is that I am making, um, if that's helpful. Because it, it helps YouTube. Obviously, YouTube revenue isn't, uh, isn't awesome. So <laughs> it's helping the channel a lot doing here let's use the original hmm. yeah, it's taking a step backward this one's okay this is interesting it looks like it's almost a portal into a, a larger tank instead of being a round tank um, it's almost like a portal into another tank hmm. this is uh almost like a tree <laughs> tree farm that's fun Anyway, so I'm going to keep pecking away at this until I get something, although I think I have something. There's a couple of these in here that I like, and I'm planning to drag those into Photoshop and then combine them with the other ones from Photoshop and then combine them with the photo I've taken to make something. Now, uh, I don't know that any of these are really kind of turning my wheel. Um, I'm going to have to go back and rip this apart um, because I don't think that it is where I'm going, but... Um, I'll do one more and then we'll call it a good stream for today. So if you have any questions, comments, witticisms, criticisms, heresies, or fallacies, throw them into the comments below as we're working here. Um, once again, thanks for everybody who took the two seconds to click the like button because no one ever clicks the like button. All right, so Unreal Engine, let's get rid of, so I wanna do, I like the Octane better. Octane Render. Let's just get rid of the round glass tank. Say, uh, tank. Uh, hey, look at that. Somebody subscribed. Thanks. Oh, it's a super chat. Wow, Corporal Davis. That's the first super chat I've had in, like, God, three years? <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, tank of green water in the middle of the scene. Tank of, let's just do tank of water. In, in, in. Let's do tank of water. Let me get rid of all this stuff here. We want uh, uh, dramatic lighting. That's not a comma. Here. And again, continuing to work um, with the idea of repetition. So we'll say, um, we'll say uh, lab equipment. So again, it's a lab, a secret lab. There's lab equipment, dramatic lighting, tank of water. Um, you could say, what's another word for tank of water? We've got um, different, hmm, I'm trying to think of a way to put this um, that, that makes sense. Observation window, observation windows. Two comma three. Let's do wallpaper here, which is wider. Uh, that's another thing that screws people up when they're trying to do full bodies of individuals. If you do the full body, but it's a square, it doesn't really know how to fit a full body into a square. So having a longer aspect ratio lets it put the body in a little bit easier. Uh, so let's try this. We don't, we don't have to have this as a two if there's no other. Its weight is pretty heavy tank of water. Let's put this as two and see what kind of hilarity ensues there. Yeah, I think um, I don't really like any of these enough to continue. I kind of, and I'll say I'm sensitive to spending my resource points on rendering images out that I may or may not like, which obviously makes sense. I mean, if it were a free tool, and you could just abuse it. I'd be clicking upscale on every one of these damn things just to kind of roll with it. Uh, but I liked it that way. Um, he's a, ancient says his D key is finicky and he's made so many 
full 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 boy portraits <laughs> full body portraits <laughs> that's pretty awesome yeah i cleaned my keyboard a couple days ago every oh, six months or so I'll pull all the keys off clean it out it needs it it's like you eat at your desk if you're working then you're like oh what a train wreck i've made all right so hopefully so we remove the word green here but secret labs are always green so you know we'll see what happens there it's looking like an office building right now observation windows galore outside secret lab um, maybe the word underground is not heavy enough here. And if you feel, by the way, this, you notice this is 18%. When it gets to about 50% or between 50 and 80%, might be good enough for you to get the images you're looking for. You don't need to take them to 100% every time. Especially, again, if you're using this for ideation, it doesn't make sense for it to add all that granular detail if you're going to get rid of it anyway. So there's a lot of times where I have stopped it early and said, Dude, this is really kind of enough uh, for me to kind of get an idea. Do I like this or do I not like this? Um, and there's enough pieces in here that like I may borrow this tank and put it in one of these scenes. We have some really great scenes up in here, for example, that might make better uh, like this one here. Put the bigger tank in this one. Um, that's photo bashing is that term for that, where you can take a couple of images and combine them together in different ways, taking bits and pieces, or even taking one image and combining it multiple times. There's some really great YouTube videos on photo bashing, by the way, so people have some serious talent. And then you go back and you dodge and burn it to correct the lighting so that everything works properly. Like this is not, uh, looks more like an outside, <laughs> looks more like an outside waste disposal thing. Uh, let's try it one more time. And then we'll call it the secret underground lab, octane render, tank of water, dramatic light. So we need to say, need to still work this on dramatic lighting. Um, let's do dark and moody. The other thing you can add to these, which opens the, the kind of the door to create uh, kind of letting the engine be more creative is adding kind of no uh, no way to kind of say what something looks like for example a good soul or a happiness or a mood or a feeling can help push an image in a certain direction so say dark and moody secret underground lab um, we can add things like um, um, I'm trying to think of something like has um, no no soul or unhappy uh, unhappy. Let's just do unhappy in there and see what kind of where it goes. Uh, but giving it a mood or a a suggestion of mood will sometimes open up again that that happy accident situation, which is the whole goal here. All right, yeah. This is actually way more interesting than I thought it was from the thumbnail. These are not going anywhere. I want to see more of that one. Some more of version two. Roll that one. See what happens. Um, Ancient chaos was this prompt for a half joke test. Imagine a dark world where clouds were made of electronic cobwebs. <laughs> Typing loud by mistake definitely got me something different. That is very interesting. Uh, so that was, uh, Fen was saying that to uh, Ancient Chaos in the chat. Yeah, I really like just kind of giving it some loose prompts and letting it be creative instead of tying it down so specifically, you know, that it's, it doesn't have opportunity to, to give you, uh, you know, its, its ideas. This is very boring, uh, re-roll <laughs> and this uh isn't as dark and moody as i was thinking of so one of these is is causing i think it's the dramatic lighting one is causing us to be too bright and happy um one of these is doing it i the other day i was working on a field of gold flowers for example and no matter what i did i could not get a, a very dark feeling one um, they are all kind of outside bright and happy and it just, I think that when it thinks flowers, it doesn't think flowers being inside. And that was just, it's um, just the problem. I couldn't get past it. Tank of water. Let's remove the onus on this being so important. Uh, dark and moody. Let's make that more important. Secret underground lab. Octane runner, tank of water. 
unhappy. Um, unhappy. Eh, I don't like this. Let's do something more specific here. Evil. Yeah, evil lab. Evil lab. There we go. So now we got the word lab twice. So we're pushing, pushing this. By the way, this system creates, on by default, it seems to create very dark and disturbing images. It's not a real happy engine, I'm noticing. And I don't know if that's what it's being fed and when that's, that's the scanning that it has done and the, the billions of images that it has looked at uh, to kind of figure out what's going on. Obviously, it's learning as it goes, but it's been pretty unhappy in general. It's been great for people like me that love a darker, darker image uh, because it has yielded so many dark things. But um, yeah, it's, so obviously it was not the... Um, which one am I running here that has the, the, the evil lab one? Yeah, it's okay. So it's still it's still going with a bit brighter. Um, well, we'll let it render out and see what it looks like. This one here turned out... This is actually really interesting. Um, the rest of these are just kind of smashed together bits of things. I really like these attention to detail in the background too, like these little tiny things. Um, I've put things like birds in the background before, but again, sentence structure is critical. If you say birds in the background and you're talking about a throne, it's going to combine the birds into the throne, which uh, I did on a previous live stream and it turned out to be not so great. Uh, yeah, this is like the same thing over and over again. So not, uh, not fantastic, although... Uh, I do like some of this attention to detail here in the ceiling. And again, if I'm looking at this as I'm not trying to get one image that answers my entire question. I'm looking for bits and pieces. I really don't care if they're different colors. I don't care how they're doing as long as they're lit in a similar way or can be modified to be lit in a similar way. Uh, like the picture I was just showing there. Let me bring that up again. Uh, that is one of those that uh, I had the image that I wanted. I knew what I wanted. And then I went and lit her so that all these shadows all make sense. So the no shadow and, and everything would make sense with this. So this, this is a photograph of Sabrina, who's you've seen her on uh, other, other retouching videos I have in the channel here. Um, so she came to the studio this last Sunday again. Um, so she'll get painted here pretty soon, hopefully. But that's another, another day. This is almost done. Um, got some pretty dark responses to uh, what fairies look like when nobody's watching. Oh, that's a great one. Can I borrow that one? Let's do that one right now. By the way, there are um, feeds in the Mid Journey uh, app itself. There's a Mid Journey app that everyone has access to, which I really don't use. But um, there are kind of like best ofs in there, and you can vote up uh, ideas that people have. Oh, this is actually way more interesting than it than it looked like it was. Oh, check it out. It's like a statue. Um, it's like it looks like a scene from what I'm imagining Soviet era Russia looked like. Now these are actually way more interesting. There, there again, I let the engine do something creative. I hadn't thought of. I really kind of like this. Not even related to the idea. I'm working with that helmet, uh, but I like that. Let's try that. Um, but anyway, they say one of your things you should do is go and look at the main feed of the best of and totally steal prompts and, and come up with ideas and i have done that i've done a few things i'm like oh i really like like brutalism for example is one uh because the whole brutalism meaning very blocky uh, large scale overly built buildings for example are br brutalism that's a movement in architecture um, so let's try this uh and let's do uh let's do a, a different aspect ratio. Let's do a taller aspect ratio so that we can get, um, let's do, um, let's do one to two. That way it's taller. And, uh, where's that? No, this is the wrong direction. We want to go two colon one, right? I can't remember now. I think it's one, two. So why don't we gonna go? <laughs> let's try it. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, man. Thanks, Fen. That was, uh, that was creative. Yeah, there we go. That's the right direction. Uh, but I want to upscale or version these two, I think. So let's version three and four here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to have a whole thing on faces, by the way. I've gotten this to give me some pretty good faces, and I have some good tips on that. But that is another video because, again, that's a long hallway to go down today. And uh, I think this is uh, 
how long we've been going here? Almost 53 minutes. Uh, so we'll we'll be almost done here. But I, hopefully this was helpful for you. And again, if you are a member of the channel, clicking the join button down below, um, I'm going to post, um, even from the dollar level one, I'm going to post into the community chats my pictures and my prompt. So if you're looking to say, well, my God, how did you get that? That's where I'm going to, that's where I'm going to kind of do that for thanking you for helping support the channel uh, because uh, I couldn't do it. So here's my... Uh, so if you're looking for layered Photoshop documents, um, I give those to you each month um, or each multiple times a month. Whenever I'm doing a live stream, uh, you'll get the document. There you go. That is twisted. Wow. That is just wrong. Look at that thing. <laughs> ah, that turned out poorly. <laughs> I think the secret to faces too is giving it direction on expressionism. Like if it's unhappy or if they're grinning or... Uh, so let's try just an example of that just to be that guy. Uh, so let's do image, imagine. Um, so let's do um, big smiles. Um, two and uh, lots of teeth. Now let's do um, large wings. I like wings on the fairies because why not? And uh, see where that goes. I'm getting cute ones. <laughs> you got a horrid elf faces and spider bodies. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, but that's my normal art, right? Uh, ranking images also get you a free hour of fast time every day. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can go in and rank the images. That's, um, a free hour is nice. But I'm paying, uh, I, again, I'm using relax mode most of the time, so I'm fine with that. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a pretty dark, if you're not familiar with this, with this uh, channel, I do a lot of dark art in here, uh, more uh, on body painting side of things, but um, this kind of more creative, weird things. I go to a lot of abandoned locations like the Shawshank Prison, for example, we shoot there every year. Um, places like that. Well, how are these turning out? Yeah, they're all kind of looking the same, um, which is kind of what I asked it to do. I'm just looking for opportunities for different things. You know, there's a lot of really great pieces in here, though, that um, I could take. And if you're a Blender user, by the way, there's a lot of opportunity here for little extra details, too. Um, you can UV wrap these around different objects and get some kind of nice details. What do we got here? Almost done. All right, what kind of what kind of nightmare do we make here? Oh, God. Yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Sleep well, people. <laughs> this is actually kind of interesting. The other ones are wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna version that one. Now I haven't I haven't taken time to rank the images. Um, I I just haven't. Um, I think the benefit needs to be a little bit higher to do that. I mean, I I, I didn't know about the free hour, so that's actually really good to know. Um, and that should maybe be uh, more obvious. Uh, just as a user that didn't know that. But I do like the um, the opportunity to get some of them seen. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. So I'm looking at these. So I have a client who I, I body painted recently as a fairy. Um, do I have any of those I can show? I think this one is nipple free there we go so i painted her and then i painted the rings on the wall um, in photoshop for example and then added this so this this is the type of work that i do and um, getting ideas for things is uh helpful you know that's that those all kind of got to come out of my head but if i can get an idea for something here well that's that's helpful idea and i don't need the body to be correct i just need the scene to be interesting like i like this this grass here in the front um can replace her. Oh, thanks. I got a subscriber. Thank you very much. I can't read really the I can't read the names too tiny. Dire fairies. Yeah. This should this could have been a whole stream there just messing with fairies. <laughs> Imagine dire fairies. And let's do Octane Render. 
Uh, and notice that we're getting full bodies. And again, it's because of this, this uh, giving it this correct aspect ratio, I think is, is critical to that. Um, we can also do um, uh, single face, just to make sure they've only got one face. Um, you could also do things like symmetrical, you can do things like this on my wings. Large wings. So just kind of picking some random stuff at, it kind of, it, in my mind, I have a rough idea. Uh, try tiny man blonde hair looking up in a hallway of mirror. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why not? And you want it as a cartoon, interesting. Um, you can also feed it other images as points of departure, but they're not, um, they're not more, they're not like seeding it. They're more like, uh, look at this and use it as a guide. Um, I found that that's kind of how it works. It doesn't appear to use it more like a seed um, cartoon. Okay. Let's see what happened there. Uh, this is actually looking pretty promising. Uh, I like that, at least from this, this uh, standpoint, these were nightmare fuel. But uh, that's okay. I don't mind that. I like the the disturbing part of this. It's fun for me. <laughs> and if you're if you like the stream, click the like button, please. Again, it's a rare day that people do that. I think they say like nine percent of users, so only nine out of a hundred will bother to do that. This looks like a uh, Donald Trump cartoon there. What are we doing here? Hmm. Wow, that's kind of. Using the Octane render here was a little more uh, interesting than I think maybe I had planned on. This is really wild. It's like a brutal, dire fairy. It's more like a brutal, evil, giant fairy. I love the lighting in this one. Though. It's just like, I appreciate the fact that the lighting in some of these is so great. The composition is so great. Um, here's your tiny man in the hallway. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> It does, uh, it does a pretty good rendered face. You know, I, I find that um, just the different faces, in general, the faces here tend to look bad. But I also don't think that's a bad thing. I think that over time, um, as AR gets, or as AR, as I'm typing the word AR, as, as AI imagery gets better, uh, we're going to have problems with um, people using these images as if they were real images. Let's do um, style Caravaggio. Yes, I copy and pasted that because I'm not going to remember how to spell that. Large wings, dire fairies. Um, let's get rid of this octane render and just let it do what it's going to do. Uh, single face, large wings, style Caravaggio. Um, anything else in here? Uh, oil on canvas, which is probably saying it too many times because it's going to be um, Caravaggio. Uh, flock of birds. So we've got flocks of birds. Yeah. This is fun. Like, I could do this all day long and it's all good. <laughs> uh, yeah. It turned out a bit weird. It did turn out a bit weird. But everything turns out a bit weird. And I'm okay with that. If you're trying to come in here and get happy images, then this is the wrong, uh, the wrong tool but I'm quite okay with that. This is looking a little weird. This flock of birds may have been an unfortunate addition. Let's try it again without that. Let's do dire fairy. Oh, I spelled it wrong. That was the problem. I didn't notice it was spelled wrong. Wow, that is messed up. Pretty cool, uh, almost looks like a face in here. Pretty cool idea. <clears> there <throat> we go. The guy's gonna tell me when I misspell stuff, because I misspell a lot of stuff, so it's gonna be like a full-time job, I know. I get it. Almost done, 37%. It's funny, it, it, sometimes I'll see it rendering and I'm like, nah, that's gonna turn out like crap. And then you it gets done and you're like, well, that uh, that got a lot better. I think it's kind of like a happy accident kind of thing. 
the meaning of life. All right, let's try it. Sometimes these briefest prompts give the most wild results because it doesn't have any, you know, any basis to start from. It just goes wherever. All right, how did that turn out? Eh. Eh. That's fail software. The meaning of life. Here you go. It's me 42. I was expecting a big 42 would have been awesome. That would have been bonus points for the engine, and that turned out that way. It's uh, very interesting. That's a good prompt. Again, I kind of like the darker stuff, but um, no matter what you do, it's going to be dark in this thing, so... Ooh, this one's really cool. Let's variate that one. Variate. I'm going to upscale this one, too, just to kind of look at it. The the idea that you're going to get something right the first time, um, I mean, it's, it's you're, you're throwing darts at a board blindfolded, and then the next time you get to pick the dark, the, the, the dart that's closest and start from there, it's kind of like best of for golfing, right? Almost the exact same idea. You know, we could get to start from the closest ball and work our way uh, from that point forward. Oh, and a, a big deal, a huge change, is that they changed the copyright now, so it is actually our image. It was so goofy before, and it made no sense. And I think a lot of people, including myself, were a little upset that you, know, you can't do anything with the images, so what's the point? Um, now, I, I love the fact that now these are ours, and we can continue forward. I'm assuming that people that, that are making enough money off subscriptions now that, that uh, things are going to be good. I've used more modern artists. It's like Vallejo, Elmore, Larry Elmore. I, I have. I've done. I've done uh, Vallejo's. I've done uh, Peter. Um, oh, I can't remember his name now. Mullen. God, I'm gonna. I'm gonna rip his name up here. Let me try and find him in my list here. Uh, I was one of his. Um, one of his um, uh, patrons for a while. Peter Mullen. God, I can't remember his name now. Uh, I have a list of artists and I can't find it right now. Let me find it. Peter. But his, I love his style of stuff. Um, and he was one of my, my big inspirations, actually, just from a photography standpoint. Um, so uh, I can't find his name right now. I, I never, oh, Peter Morbacher, that's it. Love, love his work. And I have a bunch of his decks of cards and I have one of his books. And then another person I really like is WLOP. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, his work, fantastic uh, painter. Um, and some of the stuff that he's produced is great. And again, I'm another uh, another person who's a patron, uh, Patreon that I support and pay for just because I love this stuff. Yeah, you can do banking. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you guys just did a, um, a special with him on the other day. And I did not get a chance to listen to it yet, but I want to. I just love his work. And again, I'm a supporter of his work. I pay monthly for his stuff um big 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 inspiration for me uh, eh, that's okay i kind of like the lighter versions of this um but this one's very interesting so there you go there's your meaning of life if you were wondering what it looks like there you go yeah you can do anything there's a couple of different lists that people are uh, creating that have um visual styles and there's another one that's got like an artist reference but there's uh, one of these other ones i'm going to turn you guys on to which i really like is let me find it here is the teapots so the teapot thing is uh i'll bring it over here and i'll put the link below this is a fantastic reference for uh things for mid journey uh, but it, it's using the the same exact teapot and then breaking it down from that point forward and continue going um and I think this is a fantastic reference. Uh, it gives you kind of a rough idea of what you think you're going to get as you go. I just really like it. And I like the fact that Dolly 2 is in here as well. So I'll, I'll, I might be making videos on that yet. We'll see. We'll see. They are loosening the keys on that starting tomorrow or today. Uh, they're going to add uh, a bunch of people to that. Right now it's been a few thousand and they're going to really open the, the gates on it. So I'm really excited to see where that's going to go. But I want to do another one of these, um, but I want to do it mostly on faces because I think faces are one of the most brutal parts of this engine. Uh, wait, again, I'm okay with that because 
I'm as a photographer, I like to combine these with my own portraiture, uh, which makes me happy. Um, so that's uh, that's where we're going with it. So I'm okay with that. Um, thanks for the subscription there. But uh, this uh, this teapot thing is fantastic. So again, I'll put the link there uh, into the description of the video once we're done here, and then you guys can go check this out. But uh, fantastic reference for everything from the different type of renderings to different camera styles, uh, different materials or art mediums. Again, this is that whole oil painting. Again, oil on canvas is the way I look at it, but um, really, a really great reference with a lot of ideas. Uh, there's also a prompt one that I was using earlier that I didn't, uh, I, I thought it was kind of holding my hand a little bit too tight um, that I didn't really kind of get into it too much. Um, I'm probably not going to recommend that one yet. Uh, but some of these ones, yeah, here's some emotional ones um, that we were talking about, just kind of giving concepts or feelings to images. Uh, but this is a really great, um, really great one. And there's a bunch of other um, other great little uh, references down here as well. So again, I'll put this out there uh, so you guys can grab it. And and a lot of great ideas in the, again, the, the um, main list the uh, on the Mid Journey app, which again, I can't, can't show those on here. I wish I could. Uh, fantastic ideas. And again, they're incenting you to go and borrow uh, some of the prompts because you're not going to get the same thing, right? The noise generator is going to be random. And you can, by the way, request the noise or the, the, the seed for your images if you answer uh, with an envelope. Uh, so if you send in an envelope um, on an image, it should prompt you back with the job ID and the seed. Uh, so we can do this again with this, this and then you use, you can actually use seed as a, um, a modifier at the end. So dash dash seed, and then you would put this seed here, the 6314, and it would use that seed to kind of go forward. Uh, so they should look similar to this. Now, if you change your terms or your words, that seed is a completely different thing at that point, that that's not gonna give you anything near, near what you're looking for. Uh, so uh, like uh, Skate puts in, it's uh, interesting when you put stuff that humans don't even know what they look like, like uh, the end of humanity. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I wanted to play with um, some outer space ones and I haven't really even started down that road to see if they're gonna look good or they're gonna look goofy. Um, because I'm a portrait photographer, most of what I'm looking for has people in it or I plan to put people in it at some point. Um, so the painterly stuff is pretty good. Uh, Fen says the painterly stuff he likes to use stop 61 uh, and up light. So up, up light and the stop command, again, stop it from putting in all this grainy detail that you see in here. Um, by using the stop, it will it'll stop putting in detail and give you that rough. And then you can also use the um, up light. Same idea, it's, it's upgrading it, but the light version of it, this is the same thing as this here. Uh, but if you put it into the command, you can't undo it. Um, uh, Chad Crypto says, after four months, he finally got his invite and now has to try it. Uh, so you only get 50 for the first month. Dude, I, I paid for it the same day I tried it. I was like, this is so great and I want to incent continued development on it. So I'm going to pay uh, because I love it. And it's like it's like the the people that I like WLOP on, on Patreon, um, Peter, um, he's never remember. I never remember his name. Morbacher. I, again, another person I pay for because I love their stuff. Uh, there's a couple of the people that I pay for uh, monthly because I want to incent their behavior. Like the people who pay me for my capture one and photography and that kind of stuff on this channel. I, I think that's a really great way to spend my money each month is helping those people so they can make better content or more content. Uh, so yeah, it's, that's so great. And I'm really happy to pay uh, for this tool because I find, I find it so inspirational. Unless we're doing stuff like this, and that's just messed up. <laughs> but hey, everybody, thanks for coming in today and hanging around with me. I hope you learned some things, and I would love if you give me some tips and tricks that you have learned in the comments below. And again, I'm going to do another live stream at some point here, or I might just do it as a video. I like the live stream format, personally. I'm a lot happier to doing that than editing the videos and whatever. It's nice to kind of interact with you as we're doing it, because you've got great ideas and we can all kind of explore them. And so I, I like that, but I wanna do one on faces uh, because I think faces are one of the hardest things. And again, I'm going to take it and move it into Photoshop and do stuff. Uh, so when we are, uh, when we're doing kind of as a, a photo bashing type of opportunity, I wanna do videos on that as well. Cause I know people are interested, like, how do you do that? I'll show you uh, because that's what I'm doing. So um, 
yeah, I'm I'm talking to Dolly too. I want I want that one as soon as I get it because there's things you can do with that that they're not as ideate idea ideation oriented. Like this is brainstorming on a napkin art. I love it. Uh, while uh, the uh, Dolly two is more of in my mind going to be a corrective. Uh, system like you could give it a blurry photo and it will unblurry unblurry sharpen the photo um, or add other context or other things uh, we'll see i mean i'm excited to see what it does but i love the painterly aspects of what this is doing then uh, this speaks to me it may not speak to everybody and i i think the choice of the discord interface is a really interesting one uh not would have would not have been my first pick i probably would have gone web-based but um, I don't mind it. I mean, it, again, I was a Discord person, so it, it didn't really take a big leap for me to get somewhere. But um, I appreciate the the effort that goes into it, and I'll continue to support um, continue to support the work. I'm gonna see what one of these looks like. I really think uh, this lab idea, like this one, turned out nice too. Uh, just got some really interesting ideas. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, the one-to-one -one aspect ratio, it would be really great if you could set some of these parameters that always apply. Uh, so, let's, for example, have the default, my aspect ratio will always be 3 to 2, maybe, or 2 to 3. But I get that if you just do it as a command like this, you can change your mind. And we don't have to worry about uh, having it always be um, something that's you know, default. But, uh, yeah, I love the fact I can do these just talking to the bot and not swimming through the feed. Although I've gotten some great ideas. I say the feed is fantastic for coming up with ideas and borrowing borrowing heavily prompts from other people. But, oh yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. This is interesting. Like I like this one. Let's we'll upscale that one. What are we doing over here? And this is interesting. Interesting. Maybe not groundbreakingly awesome, but let's upscale that one too. Uh, no, I don't do live streams every day. Um, I do them once a week, usually on Tuesdays, but um, my car was stolen and uh, we were dealing with that and I had to go um, actually and look at it. They recovered it, uh, but it's over 10,000 in damage. And right now getting parts is also a fun treat. So who knows how long it'll be before we have a car. So uh, I bought my wife a Vespa for her birthday and that's what she's been using. So we have no vehicle. Uh, so that's been our fun time. But yeah, the, unfortunately me going to look at that was last Tuesday. So um, I do live streams at least once a week. Uh, I did one last Friday too. So I try and mix it up, but there are a lot of photography, a lot of art related. It's visual art. I'm also doing some ones on Blender and Adobe Substance Designer as well soon uh, because I also do a lot of product photography and I do some of that is 3D oriented. So I can see combining Blender as well as some of this along with Photoshop being a typical stream for this channel because that really is what I do for a living. Uh, and I'm enjoying this um, this exploration here. This is, to me, this is just so priceless. Uh, but my biggest fear from this entire thing, and this is a very real conversation I just had uh, with the PPA. So the Professional Photographers Association of America has an artist competition as part of their photography competition. And the international one is coming up um, in a couple of weeks. And I... Um, I compete every year with that. And I've, I've done very well. I've finished in the top 10 before out of the entire nation. I've done a lot of really kind of great uh, photography competitions. I love my biggest fear though, is that a lot of this is going to wander into that artist competition and people are going to attempt to say they made it from scratch. And my goal is to try and find a way to say, can I give it a, a reverse image and say, is this image one that was generated in your engine? Because there's going to be situations where we're not going to be sure and I'm going to have to figure it out and say, this person said they created that image. Well, can you show me the work in progress? Well, yeah, but you can request the work in progress from the engine. Uh, so that isn't helpful. Uh, I've got to find a way to make this so that people can't use it to cheat. Uh, so if any if anybody uh, over there has official ideas um, on things, so I don't know if uh, Ancient Chaos, if you use some, some words in there that I could hand it an image and it could show me, yes, this is, this is very similar to this image that was generated. Even if you're not showing me the prompts, that would help me put to rest some of the concerns we have about cheat that might occur in the artist division specifically. Um, well, that uh, took a different turn, didn't it? Lots of wires, I said, and I got lots of wires. How about this one? Nah. Interesting, but not the way I wanted to go. 
for everybody. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, that was a fun stream. I was, I was glad that we had a lot of interaction. That really made me happy because normally it's just me talking to myself and that's not a lot of fun because I can do that anyway. Uh, but <laughs> thanks for coming in today. Again, if you liked what you saw today, click the like button. And again, if you want to be one of the people that gets my images and my prompts of things I'm working on, I'm going to put those into the community chat of this channel uh, for anybody that's a member at any level. So from the dollar up uh, a month, you're really helping me out, especially because I got no car right now. Um, that's a painful part of this entire uh, living in Milwaukee, apparently, where they like to steal cars. Um, thing that we have to deal with. So my wife and I are rummaging through that right now. But everybody, hey, thanks for coming out today and hanging with me. And I will catch you all next time. Take care and stay safe.